so what is going on everybody welcome to your ninth android application development tutorial my name is mehul and in this tutorial i'm going to show you a little bit about what this xml file is and uh, pretty much why android makes use of these xml files well in android you would find a lot of xml files when you are creating your own application like this one your strings are actually stored in XML file and we're gonna learn about these things later on how they are coming and uh, what happens is in Android you have to kind of it's good practice to store your strings which you are making use of in a separate file so that when you are creating a translation of your app you could pretty much do it in one go without you know just going ahead and editing each and every activity and then just you know beating your head on the keyboard because of that so android kind of saves you from that the next thing is that why does android makes use of xml files well android could have made use of some other language like um, json for the data organization but it's just like kind of xml is kind of easier to see and you know relate to your interface because you know xml just allows you to have things like button and text view and the, all these attributes json well json would also be would have been fine but uh, the people who developed android were kind of like that so nothing can be done about it so we are gonna learn how to code in xml well the next thing is that so far we have designed only using this design panel right here and you could just switch from code to design with these two tabs and what happens is that in design panel you could actually yes you could just you know just pick any of these and just throw it on the screen and just resize it from these properties but this is kind of boring because it does not involve coding and you know you would realize this later on but designing an interface via GUI would kind of make you less powerful with your interface because you know you are bound with the things available to here only because yes there are almost everything available right here but uh, for some functionality you would probably need to go to the coding area and moreover finding options right here is kind of tedious and you would eventually get bored but when you are regularly typing in XML you won't at least I don't so we're gonna make use of this XML and as you can see that for every thing right here like we have this plain text view large text medium text buttons everything you see here we have an equivalent of this code because eventually your design transforms into code itself so it gotta have that so you can see that there are a bunch of attributes as well associated with each of your XML tag and these kind of instruct you your layout how to behave because you know just button says that okay I'm a button but what else well you need to instruct that button that what it sh its width should be its height should be what text it should contain and you know some attributes are optional actually so what the position should be of that button on the screen and so on and so forth so <clears throat> There are different kind of layouts as well which i'm gonna discuss later on and this is kind of very interesting topic the layouts one because you can say it's kind of foundation for your ui because layouts kind of decide how your things go into your application so yeah relative layout is one of the most popular one used then there are linear layout grid layout and all that all that stuff which will take a look later on but for this tutorial I just want to give you a brief introduction to XML and uh, prepare you guys for starting off with XML because it would be a lot fun to code with XML instead of just picking up and throwing up some bunch of um, I don't know some fields on the screen so yeah that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching